A security architect, typically their daily activities would include things like reviewing the enterprise architecture for the organization from an IT perspective to determine where and what type of security components need to be put in what location based upon what is the organization doing, what is its data flow, where the informational access is coming in. Um, the architect is going to be looking at where best to put um, authentication mechanisms for the identities for the people coming onto the network. And then how do they communicate with their systems that they're needing to do those activities. And an architect would be the one who would be designing something like that at an overarching view. One of the second things that an architect often does is look at the organizational risks and to determine what are the best ways to handle them. What are the best types of technologies, policies, procedures, operational activities, and even managerial policy potential changes that are necessary in order for the risks to be appropriately handled for the organization from a security perspective. And those are the two big areas that an architect works with each particular day. Sometimes they get into details where they start uh, actually developing an architectural construct um, an all view or a technical view or a security view, a component view uh, of a particular path, a particular uh, information flow for an organization. How does someone log in, get to the network, then get to their system, then update their data on that particular system? How does the application handle those authentications behind it? And then how do they log off and what happens?